So the truck here behind me is the Sandvik TH665B. It's the world's largest, world's strongest, world's fastest underground electric truck for mining. It can carry 65 tons. We've got a battery that's uh, swappable. The machine can change out its own battery with the operator in the cabin. No need for uh, infrastructure underground. Uh, no need for, uh, for any fixed overhead cranes. So you can basically get the batteries down, get a charging station down and, and start working. And uh, the machine is built for mining, 100% for mining. The batteries are designed for mining. So it's really a, a big, fast and powerful battery electric truck for mining that can be put into use tomorrow. So our, our battery electric uh, product range at the moment includes a 50-ton truck, an 18-ton loader, a small 4-ton loader, and then this new 65-ton truck. This is the first machine we built, this is the prototype. This machine is, is not ready for Africa yet, but that's because it's going to Australia. <laughs> it could be ready for Africa if it, if it wasn't so that there is already a customer taking it in Australia. But uh, we're doing site acceptance testing next year. Uh, we will put this machine into very hard use, gather a lot of insights into uh, how it performs and do any engineering updates we need to do. And then we will build a lot more of them in, in 2024 and uh, for sure they're ready for use in Africa. Yeah, so obviously zero emissions and that's carbon, but it's also diesel particulate emissions. Then you have a significantly uh, less heat generation, 85% uh, less heat, which means less heat to ventilate out, which means more uh, easy access and easy extraction of ore in ventilation constrained environments in, in mines. Uh, you have less noise, obviously, with uh, the electric drive. You have uh, less vibration, so the overall operator comfort and uh, operator you know, health is, is improved. Uh, then the power, I think, is a big one that many people don't maybe uh, know. So this particular machine, we have 540 kilowatts of traction power that gets to the wheels. That's 20% uh, more than the class-leading diesel. That translates into faster speeds, of course, which means more, more uh, tons moved. So your ore throughput in, in the mining increases quite significantly. And it's not only that the top speed is higher, it's also that the acceleration is much uh, you know, stronger. You have all the torque there. Uh, in, a, in a conventional machine, if you need to adjust speed, uh, it takes a while to get back to your target speed, especially if you have to gear down, then it, it can take many minutes until you can get back to your uh, target speed. Whereas with this machine, uh, you have to slow down, maybe the road quality is bad or you're making a turn, uh, and then you have all the torque, you're back up to target speed in, in seconds. So the uh, average speed increases quite significantly. So, I mean, I'm, I'm very excited about zero emissions, but I'm you know, as excited about just moving more tons. So in many ways, the electric drive, it's an overall simplification if you compare it. There is no transmission, uh, there is no engine, obviously, uh, there's no torque converter, there's no axles on the tracks, the wheel and motors. So uh, the, 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 the product is in many ways simpler. If you look at the maintenance, there's actually half the number of maintenance interventions. So there is overall, there's less maintenance, but it's different. So of course you need more electricians compared to a, a diesel fleet where you need more mechanics in a diesel fleet. So there's a, a, a change in the skill set. Uh, I would say the biggest uh, need would be to educate and train more electricians <laughs> in anywhere we go. And that goes for mining in general, as or I, I guess any industry, because we're electrifying everywhere. So we as an OEM, we take you know, we take it a big responsibility on us as well to train our customers and help help uh, develop the uh, you know the skills in the existing uh, uh, yeah, maintenance crews and the existing uh, uh, yeah, human resources of, of our our own organization and our customers. I don't want this technology to require that you change out your staff and you know uh, that people become obsolete. I think we we're more looking at retraining, upskilling with the help of Sandvik and others. I'm sure uh, you know uh, the, the current maintenance teams in, in Africa will, will learn this technology too.